Hi, Ray Dickey from Association Help Now. We receive questions and requests from our viewers and readers every day. I'm here with John Phelps, an environmental scientist. Do I have that right, John? That's correct, Ray. From Solitude Lake Management. John, I'm looking at this great lake back here, and um, you had mentioned something about winterization. And I'm, I'm just curious, I didn't realize that you had to prepare lakes for any kind of issues during the winter. Sure, Ray. Not every lake or pond is necessary to have a winterizing procedure done to it, but for larger bodies of water, it can be an excellent idea. Uh, very large bodies of water, it's a good practice to get into as the weather gets colder to draw down the actual elevation of the water. That can be important to make preparations for next year's spring rains and maybe the snow over the winter so that the body of water can carry that extra load that it receives over the winter. And while the pond water is down over the winter, it can give you a great opportunity to do other maintenance to your pond. Maybe you had an aquatic weed problem over the summer and you want to harvest out some of that dead organic material. Or maybe it's a good time of year to inspect your facility or your pond and look for things like erosion or animal burrows and really make any type of minor repairs over the winter but really make preparations for next year. And what are some of the consequences if people don't winterize their their their, their ponds? I mean what about uh, debris in, in the pond? Are those issues do they actually have to be cleaned out or? Sure it, it, that there could be catastrophic uh, results from not properly uh, maintaining and winterizing your lakes. Like you said, if, if there's large debris in the in the lake and, and a large winter storm comes through, it definitely has the potential to obstruct any outfalls and obstruct the flow. And the last thing you would want is the middle of January to have a problem that you could have addressed earlier in the year, you know, in, in fall. And what's, what's the difference between a lake here compared to a, a natural lake? Because obviously people don't winterize natural lakes. So what is, what is the need to, is, would this be considered an artificial lake? Yes, uh, the majority of lakes here in New Jersey and that Solitude deals with would be man-made, uh, engineered facilities, usually incorporated into uh, managing their stormwater on their uh, development site. Uh, so typically the ponds, this pond in particular, is a man-made structure um, designed for stormwater management. And what role does the uh, fountain play? Are they just decorative or and, and does the fountain play a certain role for winterization? Do you leave it on? Do you turn it off? Sure. Uh, some fountains can be just purely decoration, although we promote and the majority of our fountains uh, are uh, more than just aesthetics. They, they, they really provide good circulation and good aeration, which is really important over the wintertime. Most people think that it's just something for aeration over the summertime, but in the wintertime you still need to get that circulation and that aeration into the pond. You know, the ponds are still receiving a lot of nutrients and by having a fountain moving that water, uh, you're helping a lot with keeping that, those heavy sediments moving through your system. Is there any other considerations that people don't think about as far as their, their lakes or ponds go for, for, for the winter? Uh, I would say there, there certainly are other issues that people don't address. Uh, one would be winter is the perfect time to, although it's out of sight mostly, you're not worried about the pond, but really starting to plan for the next year. Um, putting together budgets, getting together with any type of basin or pond committee, and setting goals for next year. That's a great activity to do over the winter. Um, there's a lot of maintenance issues that can be addressed over the winter as well. Buffer trimmings is a great activity to do over the winter. After the growing season, it's usually less cost to do a type of vegetation clearing over the winter. Um, addressing animal burrows, erosion is a big issue that can be addressed, at least identified and then potentially addressed uh, over the winter. Right.